Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reggie Winston, and together we make barbers better. In this video, I wanted to give you five things that I think can make you better as a barber during your downtime. So it happens to every barber. We have some slow times in the barber shop. But I think if you do these five things, this is going to improve you as a barber, help you make more money, and make you a better barber and a colleague inside the barber shop. So let's get right into it, all right? The first thing that I think you should do during downtime is clean and organize the station and the barbershop. I see a lot of clutter. Um, some barbers work a little bit more organized than others, but it's always great to clean your clippers, clean your tools, and organize your station. One good thing about that is when you're standing up and you're doing work and a customer walk in, they see you at the station cleaning up, they can already recognize that you're a barber at that barber shop. And it's the fact that you're cleaning and you're getting stuff done, make it seem like you just knocked out a customer and you're about to take another one or it might be going to break or something in their mind. And it's just a psychological thing. They see you work and you're not sitting down. That's a great thing for customers to see. So the first thing is to clean your tools and organize your station in the barbershop. Many times I go into barbershops and I see people, you know, I see barbers sitting around and the floor is dirty. Yes, our job is to put hair on the floor, but it's our responsibility to clean that hair up as well. All right. So that's the first thing. Clean and organize your station and the barbershop. Don't be the selfish guy. Just do your station and sweep around your station. That's it. Sweep the whole barbershop. All right. Number two during your downtime is to adjust your tools and replenish the products that you use. So your trimmers might not be hitting correct. You should have a tool like a screwdriver to make those adjustments. Um, some, tool, some trimmers now have zero gap tools to help you perfectly zero, zero gap your tools. Take the time to do that. Spray them out with the air can, whatever you gotta do to make your tools work run efficiently, oil them, put the cool care on them, make sure they running well. Also, this would be a good time to replenish your shampoo that you might be using or your cool care, you, your can might be out, or your aftershave, your blue water, the, you know, your facial toner, your products that you use to put in the hair, like a leave-in conditioner or whatever. This is a great time to replenish all those things that you use, your neck strips, you know, all of those things, uh, get your new razors in, in, in queue so you can use them during the day. This is a great time during your downtime. And once again, you will be standing at your shop, I mean, at your station. So if a customer walk in, you look like you're supposed to be there. You look like someone that works there. Number three, get social on social media, all right? A lot of times I see barbers on a downtime, they're on their phone and they're just scrolling through social media, looking at just random stuff. It might be haircuts, it might be girls, cars, or whatever interests them. I wanna challenge you to get social on social media. One thing you can do is post more content for yourself, right? Another thing you can do is comment on other people's stuff. And don't just say dope, fire, nice, or whatever. Ask a question, right? And of course, go through and like some stuff. And don't don't give other barbers a hard time, or don't don't think it's a bad thing to like other barber stuff. You know, it's, we all brothers or sisters in this industry, and it'd be dope, man, to get the love and the feedback we need from fellow barbers. If you don't have a relationship with that barber, do not critique them on their posts. If you do have a relationship, you can always talk to them one on one or in the DMs. Don't ever talk bad about another barber's work on their, on their post, all right? Uh, number four. Number four, you should organize and make your appointments efficient. And what I mean by that is, I like to look ahead on my schedule, see if there's any gaps that I can fill, or is there possible customers that I can move around to make my day full. So if I see gaps in the evening, I might, Ask the customer, can they come in earlier or later? So I can make sure that I have a quick, a nice flow, especially if I have gaps in the morning. I might see if I can get somebody to come up early or a few people to come in a little early 
because I know the most popular times are in the evening and evening appointments go fast. So if I can make a gap in the evening, I know someone will book that. All right. Um, just really go through your schedule and make sure that your schedule, like the people that book with you, are lined up in a manner where you continue to cut. All right. Now, if you know your shop is going to be busy with walk-ins during certain times, I would say block your schedule on those times when you know walk-ins are coming in. And funnel the, you should funnel appointments into your slow times, right? A lot of barbers overlook that. And I know a lot of barbers are so caught up in trying to get people to make appointments and be so available for appointments that they kind of mess up their money by allowing people to book appointments in high times or uh, high traffic times. Try to funnel your appointments in your slow days and your slow times, right? So that's number four, organize and make your appointments efficient. And the fifth thing that you can do during your slow time to help make you a better barber, make you more money and a better teammate is practice the services that you are weak at. If you do really good with fading and you're, you're struggling with beards, practice beards. If you're struggling with using shears, practice your shears. You can go to Sally's or go online and get a mannequin and practice your shear game. If you're struggling with razor shaves, you can practice your razor shaves on your slow time. Um, it can be color services. Whatever it is that you're weak at, this will be a perfect time to improve those skills by getting that practice in. Uh, you can do simple stuff like facials on the other barbers in the barber shop. Really learn how to get that routine and get that like uh, muscle memory, get that memory into your muscles and your mind and know your steps without having to look at paper or look through the book and second guess yourself, all right? The more you guess, the more time you're wasting. If you're wasting time, the less money you're making. You wanna be sure what you're doing and this would be a great time during your downtime, during your slow day, to practice those things. You can even give those services to customers that come in on your slow day as no additional charge and just have them to be your guinea pigs or your test, your test um, customers, right? So those are the five things. Clean and organize the station and your shop. Adjust your tools and replenish your products. Get social on social media. Organize and make your appointment or your schedule efficient. Practice the services you are weak at. Those are my five things. Let me know what you think about those five things. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Every, every subscriber helps. If you have any questions or comments or if you have your own list of things, please leave that in the comments. Together, we're going to make barbers better. This is Reggie Winston, and you can follow me on social media, Instagram, Reggie underscore Winston, Facebook, Reggie Winston, the Influential Barber, and Twitter. I'm on Twitter as well. And definitely check out my blog if you're a barber student and you need help with that Miladies Barber book, those review questions. I actually have the answers to those so you can use it as a study guide. Let's do this. We're going to make barbers better, y'all. Peace out.